Hi, and welcome to TFRLP Microcasters. Uh, tonight, uh, we've got the usual crew. So, uh, Anna from her new location, once again. I'm at work. So, well, I know, but you always, like, you know, usually Christian and I are kind of in the same location, and and then you're always, like, kind of moving around. Like, sometimes you're at work. Sometimes I'm a traveler. You're Sometimes you're at the basement. Sometimes you're at my house. So. Maybe I'm at your house right now and you just don't know. Spooky. The call's coming from inside the house. Yes. And Christian's uh, here too. I'm also here. Hey. I said, didn't I say Christian? I'm you like moving the. Okay. Uh, I'm here. Oh, uh, who cares about Christian? Oh, wait. Did I say that out loud? Wow. So, and, and Ron's here. here. So, that's, that's exciting. Thing for Tootie did to watch Anna eat dinner. <laughs> so, uh, what's what's for dinner tonight, Sarpinas? Tonight we will be reviewing Blaze Pizza. Ooh, it's pretty good. I finally tried it. It's fine. We totally should do that. Like, you know, instead <laughs> of just reviewing figures, we can, like, review chicken sandwiches and pizza and... And Rock Lords, because I'm at work where all my Rock Lords are. Yeah, so Randall wants to know why you're at work anyway, because should you be on winter break? I agree, Randall. Oh, my goodness. This is finals week, Randall. This is right. finals week, and next week is the first week of winter semester, during which I am teaching a four-week class. So I, I mean, will be at work all year. What, what kind of sadistic person schedules a class during winter break? <laughs> The students love it. Like, our winter classes fill up so fast. Really? Because they're four weeks. So they're I like, oh my know. god, I can finish a class in four weeks that everybody's going to fell because it's going to be too hard. Right, well, because they put you in charge so that you actually made it hard instead of like a blow-off class. I'm expecting a slaughter festival. So, yeah. I mean, There's that's just going to be horrible for these kids. Horrible for the kids. What about me? <laughs> ah, I mean, it, you know, again, like just give all the kids A's. It's a win-win, and and then you go. So that's like a lose-lose. <laughs> Randall says to give them all F's. <laughs> so he, I think it's a worse he, loss. He understands. He understands what it's like. But if you just grade, so if you give them all F's, but you grade on a curve, then. Then it could be A's. So, anyway. I see. So, so yeah. So today, uh, tonight we're we're doing siege uh, crosshairs. So big reveal. Very I'll show you something exciting. on the other camera that I can't see. I I was so excited because I went out and and you know canvassed the area. Uh, I braved the Christmas rush on Saturday to, uh, to get this figure. Um, you poor, poor soul. And then after I like went to like seven Walmarts, I, I like didn't check the Walmart right now, right by me because, um, I had just checked it like the day before, but they had literally that just day, that day just got in a new shipment. And so after I went, you know, struck out at every other Walmart, I went back to my own, and uh, and found them. So so there we are. Yeah, I, I my problem phone. is is that I um, so Christian was like you know sending me all these amazing deals, and so like Walmart uh, dot com had them on sale, and so I like ordered through Walmart dot com. Well, unfortunately, they don't fulfill the the figures very well, and so I I never got them, and so um, I ended up getting them in the store. And, and I, I guess mine, not at all. I got mine from Pulse yeah. on Black Friday when they let me do 20% off all my pre-orders. So I just reordered everything. It was incredible. That must have been, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like that's almost not worth it. Because it's such a horrible process to go through and, like, cancel and, you know, the order so has It took about 15 minutes to cancel all the old orders. And by doing that, I saved myself about... $250 over the next three months. Well, that's worth it, then. That's 
a lot of pre-orders. Yeah, that's a fair amount of pre-orders there, Christian. I think it's worth twice the games I collect, I collect these two series. And a little bit of Marvel Legends and one or two Black Series figures. So everything. A little bit of everything. <laughs> a lot of some things. A little bit of everything. So I'm really curious to see uh, if they're going to do any kind of deal for next year for Hasbro Pulse. Um, Cause we've gotten, we've gotten it for free or whatever. Like we ordered something and said that, yeah, the Pulse premium. So if like, say that they don't offer a deal and it's just re- the normal $50 price or whatever, will you re up and do Hasbro Pulse? Mm. For 50 Honestly, since Amazon started doing pre-orders for the Hasbro stuff, I want it. That's true. Because <laughs> I already paid for Prime. My only my only concern with that is is that I feel like uh, Amazon, like I don't know, they canceled. They're like wonky with the pre-orders, and they cancel my pre-orders. Like I, and so like I feel like I can never trust them, and so whereas I I can trust Hasbro or I mean I'm sure Hasbro like I know they've had some issues I think they had issues with those um those dino cassettes um but for the most part I, I don't think they've had too many too many issues with stuff not getting getting fulfilled so <laughs> I don't know how to think about it I, I guess I need to order my uh baby Yoda uh as well right if it's not sold out you better hurry Oh no! I didn't even think about that. Is it actually? Do they actually make an official thing of it? Oh, there's lots of official things. Threw them up all on Friday or Thursday. Ah, okay. I ordered but two like, of the Black Series one. The Baby Yodas are not actually like nothing is actually coming out till like next spring, right? Okay. I think like I, I don't thought, think that I thought Mattel's thing was supposed to make it. I'd also like to see that toy deal. How did Mattel get a Star Wars figure? That's weird. Wow. It is weird. Huh. I, I still thought, haven't I seen Mandalorian. That was the, one supposed to make it. the thing I don't understand is is with this this Mandalorian show, right? Like with this whole thing coming out, how did they not foresee that this was gonna be a thing? Oh they did. They just didn't want to spoil it. Mm. Oh. Have you well, noticed what they're doing with other toy releases for this show? Uh-uh. So the episode airs, or it comes online on Friday. And by midday on Friday, or sometimes Friday night, whatever exclusive for that week is listed. So they did it with IG-11, they did it with Cara Dune, they did it with the ATST. Mm-hmm. They did it with uh, Ham, the Heavy Artillery Mandalorian. So they're listing them that day, so you're not spoiled on what it is beforehand. Which is an incredible, incredible method to keep all of that together. But kudos to Hasbro for doing it. Yeah, but at the same time, though, like, wouldn't it be so much better for them if they had all that on the shelf? Or I, I guess it doesn't Probably. matter. You know, they're all online exclusives anyway. Mostly, they've been at Best Buy so far. So, so thinking about it though, thinking it through, they don't really need a bunch of that kind of stuff to sell during Christmas. Because, like, I mean, like they're going to sell toys during <coughs> Christmas no matter what, right? Um, so, I guess like all that kind of stuff, they probably want it so that that way people are buying stuff in, you know, April or whatever. Yeah. Speaking of toys, don't we have one to talk about tonight? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Me too. Yes. Look, it's crosshairs. It, it's crosshairs. Yay. And back to talking about random things. <laughs> right, exactly. So, um, so Crosshairs is pretty much a straight uh, uh, repaint of Ironhide. The only difference, I think, is the head. Is that right? I don't think there's any other differences. As far as I know, yeah. Like, other than, I mean, there's paint differences, but as far as the mold You can tell it's right. Ironhide because it's back to the crappy panels that I can't take off now. That's okay. hilarious. So this that's is the amazing. thing that's funny is is um, I feel I like I feel like with these figures it's like the total QC lottery because my 
mine do not come off at all. Like my my panels on crosshairs are totally solid, but um, I think my ratchet. Um, I'm trying to think, was one of them bad? I guess ratchet was okay too. Yeah, my ratchet so, was fine. Yeah, so um, yeah, like I, so I managed to hit the QC lottery on on crosshairs, and you know, That's mine good. mine was totally good. So he has got a great new head. I love it. Yes. Very crosshairs. Looks good. And he exists. That's the kind of the other most important part. He's another, you know, C, D, E, F list character that Siege has managed to bring into the spotlight. And I really, really like that. Well, I mean, the thing I think is cool about this is, like, I, I think this mold really fits him well. Like, I mean, I think that... If you're trying to make an homage of the G1 toy, I mean, this is about as close as you can get. Honestly, I would argue that this is more of a crosshairs toy that was a pre, you know, pre-painted as uh, an Ironhide than it is, an, you know, a repaint. I have to disagree, and I have to disagree for only one reason: because in bot mode he's fine, but in vehicle mode, his wheels are all wrong. Because he was, this, you know, off-road. A big Baja truck, and now he's like a minivan. That's, that's not crosshairs. Yeah. So I'm waiting for Matrix Workshop or Dr. Wu or somebody to make a <laughs> kit so I can put the right wheels and lift kit on him so he looks awesome. Yeah. I'm sure Peter's working on it for that right now. He's got Hey. Uh, Christian, it seems like your Wi-Fi is kind of inconsistent. Is there... Fun fact, I'm not on Wi-Fi. Oh, maybe that's why. Your LTE your seems, like, a little inconsistent. Let's see if I can switch over. So, um, the one thing that, you know, I know Ron mentioned about that he really likes the bright white paint behind the windshield... My only concern, and I don't know about you guys, but, like, my, um, the figure, like, does it look like this, where there's, like, a, it's, like, not 100% painted? Yeah. My, yours looks a little better than mine. But, like... Yours has a pretty big gap in it. Yeah, so, I mean, that's... It looks like your pieces aren't aligned. Or is that just I, where the paint stops? No, it's just it's just not painted well. Like the paint is is not consistent, mm. and like I kind of have that too. Where um, I'm trying to think, there's a few other spots. Like it seemed like the the, the paint is a little inconsistent on mine. Like there's like a, just a few spots. I mean, whatever. This is a mainline toy. It's not that big of a deal. But like, um, you know, there's it just seems like the paint on mine is a little inconsistent. Um, like where there's paint, so I don't know. My paint appears to be fine. My knee joints are loose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, mine's mine's totally tight. Like I have no like no issues with my knee joints. Um, mine's it's tight. just that paint. So, <laughs> so he stays when I do this, and then he moves a little bit. But you know, posing, he just kind of flops back. Especially that one. The other one. So so it does have slight battle damage on the feet Anna you are asking about that I don't know if you can tell I can figure out what it's supposed to be but I it's very hard to see yeah there's like a little battle on damage on the like that front part and then on the feet so it's which it's will not, make people happy yeah yeah, yeah it's, really it's not bad out. at all so But at least they haven't done what I really feared they were going to do and re-release everything, you know, without battle damage. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't think they were going to do that. So the thing I think is interesting is the fact that they're keeping up the battle damage in Earthrise. Yep. Oh, are they really? Yeah. Like the um, <sighs> Stop it. hoist. Uh, like if you, if you tell on him, he has the most. So, no. Yeah. Yep. Cut it out. Just give me another paint application instead. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, 
So there, apparently there's somebody that really loves it, Hasbro. But um, so this does have Tampa stickers on it on the legs. Um, Which is and wild. They don't look like complete trash. So kudos to uh, the guys that, you know, I know everybody hated those uh, stickers from, uh, was it was it Titan's Return? Titan's Return and Power of the Primes. Yeah, yeah, oh, the trash so stickers. Bad. So, like, these these are actually, apply- like, the ones on mine, at least, are applied fine. Like, they're not, there's no issues yeah, with them. So fine, too. And they don't, they're, they don't feel floppy out. Like, I kind of thought they were paint at first. Yeah. The, the biggest problem with the old ones, I mean, they, look, they would look tacky, but you can, like, go for that style, just like you can go for the Battle Dome style. But the problem with them was that they would they would peel, you know, out of package. These aren't doing that. They're great. Yep. They're sturdy. Yep. So yeah, like I'm I'm totally fine with stickers if that's what they do, instead of you know the garbage sure. that they did before. So, but but yeah, no, I really like this. I, I like um, I mean whatever. It's a it's a repaint, but I think it's done well. Um, and I love the. I mean the head looks great. It does look great. So, so if you were a one per mold collector, if you could only have one per mold, which one would you recommend? This one. Because he's a rare character. Because he's a rare character. Yeah. That's what I figured. You can get you know hundreds of other iron hides. You can get two <laughs> crosshairs. I agree with that logic. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's just like. Right now, the market for reselling siege figures is terrible. Like Paint people, one black. huh? Paint, Paint one, black. one black. I already have a black one. My little one. I don't know what to tell you. There's nothing to tell me. I just have to sell them to someone for like a dollar. You could start a bidding war live on it. You put a siege log on eBay. People will offer you like they'll be like three bucks, four bucks. It's great. So, so Ron says his favorite is, is Ratchet, and that might be my answer as well, just because, like, I love the accessories that come, you know, with Ratchet. Um, oh, that wasn't the question that was asked of me. The question was, if I was one per mold, which one would I pick? Right, so Ratchet, well, like, I mean, including Ratchet, Ratchet in with this. Yeah. I'm, yeah I'm Ratchet's a, paint is very good. Ratchet's accessories are very good. And he doesn't have the panel problem, as far as I can tell. Ratchet looks like the better like the better figure, but it seems like Crosshairs is probably the better use of the mold to me. Yes, I would agree with that. <clears throat> That's what it seems like. I get to mess with Ratchet quite a bit. Well, actually, I messed with Ratchet for a while, and then Lucas yelled at me and said I was going to wear it out, so I stopped messing with it. Well, this is the problem that I have. That, that I have. I can't. I can't let you mess with my figures too much because you like wear out all the joints. But I like them to move. Like, what's the point? Why would they move if they don't move? One Anna side here. They're toys. And, and that's why. fine. Anna's is totally will uh, no welcome to wobble. do that to her own figures. No but... wiggle wobble. <laughs> Yeah, Rat- Ratchet's probably the best of the three, but if you only had to get one, I would get Crosshairs, because you can only get one Crosshairs. What is the Zetar oh, rule? That's good. Zetar is the repaint of Brunt. He's a power dasher. Well, I'm just... Because yeah, but... uh, Randall says that... The Z- What's the Zetar rule for Anna? Who knows? Oh. Who knows what I said on air at one point? <laughs> Paul, I don't... Uh... Well, we we haven't uh, uh, even aired the the one that Paul's talking about, so I got uh, I, I have a couple of surprise toys in general, um, and uh, so Paul wants me to put some of those next to it. Should yeah? Should I should I do it? Should I wait? Actually, you know what? I think. Well, are you on Ouch tomorrow? Uh no, I'm not. Oh, they go ahead and flex it now. Well, yeah, because the, um, well, the, so the episode's going up this weekend or whatever, so. Spoilers. But, all right, Ron Spoilers. says Ratchet wins, so, yeah, hold, hold on one second. You guys talk amongst yourself. I'll, I'll go grab the figure. So we could figure out what the Zetar rule is. That would be cool. No, we'll just talk about new face equals new mold. That's the. Oh. 
that's mm-hmm. the rule. I think I think for Zatar and the other um, the other two power dashers or whatever's, um, <laughs> I I think the reason I'm able to have those and their original mold mates is because that there's like no versions of either of them. So it's That's like, true. I'm not going to really be able to get a like good version of either of those characters otherwise. So I let myself have the exception. But for Ironhide, there's all sorts of lousy Ironhides all over the place that I could get. And I do still have my classics or universe or whichever one he was. I do still have that one. And I actually do like it probably better but aesthetically i don't feel like it looks right with my stuff anymore yes i get confused he has problems so you didn't even get around to talking about the important thing while lucas was gone he wasn't gone long enough oh i'm sorry what's the important thing the fact that this man you guys are talking about doesn't have his target master like he should and i have his target master (laughs) yes i do not have him but i have his target master so i mean I will say that the axe kind of looks, I mean, is, is somewhat representative if, you know, say that you don't want to get the LG wind blade for, and spend whatever, 40 bucks or whatever on that, just to, just to get a target master. That is a hammer. This is a person. <laughs> don't uh, okay. depersonize him. I am convinced that we will get a Earthrise or, you know, Wolf Cybertron 3 pinpointer at some point. Just like I'm sort of convinced now that we'll get Sure Shot and Point Blank, we'll get their dudes too. I kind of think that a pinpointer's coming. Well, Trenchfoot is not pinpointer. This is pinpointer. He's my Trenchfoot hand. Trenchfoot is not pinpointer. He's not. This is pinpointer. He might work for like now for some people, not for me, but um, I think we're going to get one. I think they'll probably but this make will be better. Set of mold. So. That one will be better. Unless they drastically change how they're doing battle masters. I think that's like I think that's a really contentious thing among the Target Master Collector community, which is just me. And it is really hard to That'd decide which is better. The bigger, bulkier, less flexible, but looks better in gun mode, um, siege figures, or the smaller, more flexible, looks way better in robot mode, LG figures. For me, it's these, because I'm going to have them posed in robot mode. But if someone was going to use them as guns primarily, I would almost say that the the siege figures would probably be a better fit. Plus, they're not as expensive. This guy was $40, and he came with a free wood blade. That's the issue I have. I would much prefer the LG <laughs> ones, but the cost of getting them is very high. Yeah. And I uh, feel like with yeah. that wind blade, I don't know. I so, Some of the other ones like are, are pretty neat. Uh, the Dakar versions, but I don't know. The Windblade is like, I just, I totally do not need that just to. I just got it because every version of the Windblade is harder to get now. So, like, instead of trying to get the Titans Returns one, I just gave in and got this one because I wanted it. At least that one has better face paint and the correct sword. The sword is a lot cooler. The sword is a lot better. And the face paint is fantastic. And actually, the plane mode actually looks a lot better on the LG. But we're not here to talk about Windblade. We're here to talk about Lucas's surprises that he just pulled out of his house. Yeah, so uh, so I'm showing off on camera. Christian can't see it, but uh, oh. I, I'm showing how, how he looks uh, next to a certain Optimus Prime figure that may or may not be out yet. So. What? So, yep. Surprise, Miss That's Prime. So, yeah, so so there you go. So, I don't know. <coughs> I, I managed to get this as a Christmas present, so, from from my Secret Santa. So, that was, that was well, pretty awesome. I'll review that soon. <laughs> so, yep. I won't get to review my Secret Santa. It's not a Transformer. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Well, you need to stop asking for... I should have banned uh, your list or whatever, Anna. I, th- I thought we said only Transformers. We did not. Ooh, that's a okay. good idea. Does no, crosshairs... Stupid idea. ...fit in the trailer? That's a great question. I'm sure the answer is probably no. Uh, it does not fit in the trailer. 
So. No? Because, yeah. Here. Is he too tall or too wide? Uh, I don't know. Both. 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 Everything. Okay. Got it. I think I think he actually might oh. fit if uh, actually he was not too wide. He's too tall. So. You just cram it full of cliff jumpers when he comes out. I'm trying to think if I have anything else. In, oh, here we go. <laughs> this is too tall too. So repaint it. You know. Be so all we're gonna have to do is get a bunch of Legends figures to put in this trailer, right? <laughs> if only if only Hasbro made Legends figures still. That's we'll why you're going to get a, a bushel full of cliff jumpers and put them in there. I did just find a bunch of the Legends figures for six bucks a piece at Ross. That was cool. What and Legends my... figures do they have? How many? What What did they have? Oh, they had uh, a Cinder Sword and they had um, Telgate, but his face had a lot of paint damage, so I didn't want him. And they also had Battle Slash or whatever his name was. And I think that was it. And a black queen, but they don't have him anymore. Sorry, gone. who? <laughs> it wasn't me this time. What? Yeah, I don't. I guess. Oh, no one, no one knows what you're doing. It's so surprising. I'm, I'm trying to transform Sideswipe so that we can see whether or not he fits in the trailer. Transform faster, Lucas. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Bunch of Transformers collector. Come on. Right. Sounds like he's a novice. You know me. Well, you know, I quit collecting Masterpiece, so now I'm, I'm rusty. That's right. That's right, because Sideswipe is totally a Masterpiece. Right. He's better than Masterpiece. So I can review his, his Target Master that no one will have. This is a good thing. I don't really think everybody should go buy LG Windblade to get it, but it's a good thing. If you want LG Windblade. <clears throat> but I don't really like that figure that much. Like, I, I like it, but it didn't, like... It did not justify the price I paid for it, even on sale. It's definitely better than the first one. Okay, so Sideswipe yeah. does fit into the trailer, Christian. So, nice. ju just FYI. I'm assuming... Thank you. I'm trying to think if I have one of the Dotsons transformed. I think every, like pretty much everything I have is a bot mode right now. So, um, but I'm assuming probably the cars will fit. So, so there we go. Oh my gosh, guys! Which Dotson should I buy? I can't decide. I can't pull Barricade. the trigger. Which what? Huh? Barricade or Blue Streak? No, 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 no! I'm trying to decide if I should buy the um. If I should buy the Magic Square one that just came out, or if I should buy the Iron Trans three pack, Why? like no, that no shouldn't even be a question. How should it not be a question? Like I it, are, like, the way like you love better. You you love Magic Square, and you love knockoff trash. <laughs> so you're like, well, which one should I get, knockoff trash or Magic Square? Is that what Iron Trans is? I don't even heard of that. They're not knockoff right. trash. No, they're regular trash. Probably don't buy trash. No, they're not trash at all. It's just a it's a new name. Who knows who they were, who they are, who they will be in the future. Mm -hmm. But they have released one set of figure and one set of figures, and it's the three dad's sons. But they're much cheaper. It's like forty five dollars for a three pack instead of thirty for one. So it's a good well, deal. You could, you could I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna version. go out on a limb and say that. Um, the cheaper figure is probably not going to be as good. Why and not? so I, considering that you collect one per character or whatever, and you already have the other characters represented, I would not. I don't have a, I don't have a silver streak, blue streak, any streak. I have no streaks. Right. But I'm saying though. Wait, do you, actually I do though, because I bought that, um, what is it called? Robot, robot, rep, not robot replica, um. The, the one that's like Rebel Tech. They got me oh, a million years ago. It, yeah. Oh, nobody yeah, yeah, about. Yeah. Voodoo Robot? No. I can't remember who no. it was. It's something robots. Custom robot. 
Custom robots. Custom robots. Yes. Is that what it is? Nice. Thanks, Brad. Ah. Ah. So, uh, I Antoine, I, I got uh, this Earthrise Prime for my Secret Santa. So, for for Christmas. So, I, I don't know. Secret Santa was Pinpointer. It, it fell off the back of a truck and... And it became so. the back of a truck. Oh! That's true. How there great. Call irony. I call it joke. <laughs> <laughs> I got you to laugh at my really stupid comment. I'm so proud. So, yeah, I don't know if you see or not, but uh, the Surthrise Prime. Blue hands. Yeah. So. You can sleep at night now. I can. You don't have to. You can. You can stop freaking out about it now, dude. Oh I was. God. I was freaking out. I'm. You know. I'm sorry for putting you guys through that. It was like every day. It was like every day. I think they're gray guys. Oh, but, mm, I no. I know. Really we would get well. like new. We would get new. That was my answer. I did not care. Why didn't you care? I don't know what color they're supposed to. Be. I guess they're blue. I like I see There's, it now. I mean, like, the original was blue. He has hands. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, that is not the um, rock I choose to die upon, or however you say that phrase. I think it's a Wait, hill. What? Hill? Yeah. Okay. I go to rocks because they're rock lords. You're right. That's way better. And because of it at my office right now, I have lots of rock lords. Powerful living rock. All right. You know why I say that, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Just checking. Lucas, do you know why I say that? No. Oh, it's their theme song. For the Rock Lords? Yeah. No. Oh. Rock Lords. Ooh. Rocks come alive. Rock Lords. Powerful living rock. Um, do they also they change really before your eyes or something? They, they're rocks before your eyes. All right, here we go. Size, size comparison. Boom. There you go. Let's compare Let's quality of figures. Size. You have this. You have this new Earthrise garbage that Lucas is talking about, and then you have perfection right here. What is that? You have slime stone. A work of beauty and art and sh chrome damage. So, you know those, so those big old new Gobots. I definitely would buy a new big old line of Rock Lords. Those would be great. Who even owns the rights to the Rock Lords? Uh, I wish I it was me. What's that? Who is it? Hasbro does. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. They're part of GoBots, and Hasbro owns them, so. There, there you are. They I don't think... own the mold, <clears throat> but they do own the likenesses. Do you know when the uh, Seacons are coming out, Christian? They should start coming out in February. Also around the first of the year is Hound. Yep. We'll that... be talking about Hound for sure. Because I'm getting one. These guys aren't. But I get Masterpiece figures. So it'll be great. I, I yeah. Yet I bought a Masterpiece figure today. So we'll see how that goes. You did. What'd you, you get? Did. I seriously considered it. I just thought of buying all the freaking prowl molds. Because I could have just got that, got the magic square, got the iron trans, just put them in a big there, pot and there you go. whipped them up into a horrible stew of broken toys. But I didn't. I didn't buy any. Good. I guess. Yeah, pizza. If you want them, you should buy them. So, uh, so Antoine, I was going to say that this Earthrise Prime, like, totally, like, I, I really enjoyed the Siege Prime a lot, but this Earthrise, like, it it totally overshadows that one. Um, so oh no, <laughs> earmuffs. Because I'm wearing ear pods, but ear earmuffs. I'm so, trying not to listen to your opinions this time. Yeah, because yeah, oh, you hyped up so, the. <laughs> I forgot. So the last the last time I hyped up Siege Prime and Christian bought it and then hated it because I hyped it up so much. And so now I'll, it's I'll way say, too you know, much hype. Like that figure is not that good. Oh, it's I think still, it's pretty it's good. Still pretty good. It has nah. too much kibble on it. Like th 
the thing that's nice about this is, is it just it does not have a lot of kibble. Like it has the um, wheels on his butt, but um, you know, or his back or whatever. Um, but other than that, it's really clean. So like that's what's nice about it. I did like the Galaxy Upgrade Prime. There you go. That one seems okay. So Anna. Have we convinced you to buy this uh, this figure, the crosshairs? Probably. As long as I can figure out how to get rid of my iron hide. How much did we convince you versus how much did Pinpointer convince you? <laughs> how much did you convince you or who? Versus how much did Pinpointer convince you? 100% Pinpointer. Ah, well. But you told me it wasn't crappy, so that's good enough. Okay, it's fine. If you want a crosshair, this is the only option to get crosshair. So. It is. I don't know if we see. It looks good. It does look good. I, I don't even have crosshairs in the frame because Ron, Ron's asking me about uh, the comparison of the two uh, the two prime figures. So uh, the Earthrise Prime is just a, uh, like a little bit taller than the uh, than the siege one, I don't know. It's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to tell like on camera with the perspective. But my battery is about to die, so I'll probably be leaving here in a moment. No. Oh no! Oh no, Anna! So there you go. It'll be okay. I didn't bring my charger to work. Ooh, that's tough. No. So anyway, yeah. All right, well, I, I guess that's that's the end then, since uh, sure, since well, uh, since Anna is going to die here. So, but yeah, no, I, I think the crosshairs to to get back to him, um, I I like it quite a bit. So I think it's definitely uh, a cool repaint. So I'd recommend it. He seems good. I want to get one to go with my target master. Oh. Rob, Rob is uh, is doing a, a little rip to uh, pouring one out for Make Toys Crosshairs. Cause I, Does that even exist? Not in physical form. Oh. Well. I, think, I think they announced it at some point, maybe. I don't know. They announced a bunch of stuff Bye. like three years ago. Bye. Um... Should we just put a picture of Anna up? Like, it's just frozen, like... That's what she looks like to me right Good now. Good night, but... everyone. So. Good night, but... everyone. But yeah, that is... I don't know. I think fans hobby. I bet they'll put one out at some point. Hmm. Not a bad idea. So, yeah. Yeah. The question is, is we should get a pool going on what figures Make Toys is going to release. And I'm not. None of them. Huh? No, okay, so, like, at this point, they've released one of the um, Coneheads, right? Will they release the other two? No. I think they will. I think they won't. I think that they're going to release those, but, um, I don't know. I really want the, that uh, Cross Dimensions Galvatron, but I don't think that's coming out, so. That's not coming out either. So. Yeah. Is Anna even on the call anymore? No, she's gone now. <laughs> That's kind of funny that it's just like frozen on on screen. So she's with us in spirit. She says she can get on her phone if you want her to come back. Nah, it's fine. Like we probably okay, need to end this done. show anyway. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're gonna have Vatch my wallet tomorrow night. So check us out there, and uh, then we're gonna have the holiday. Oh, Anna's gone now officially. Um, and then, and then we are going to have the holiday episode of, uh, TFLP where we open up our gifts. So, th uh, my Earthrise Prime was, that was a spoiler, I guess, from, from that show. So, um, and, yeah, well, it's Paul. He's the one that got me to, um, so Rob is wrong. Um, the one of the Make Toys Coneheads has come out already. Like people have them right now. So yeah, Dirge came out. 
dirge. Yes, thank you. So, pretty sure dirge came out. Yes, well, I know that one of them came out. I can't remember which one it was, but because I've seen well, it if, in the groups. if it came out, it is dirge. It's it's literally like I have seen, like you know, Greg Sullivan and the groups is like shown like there's been people with pictures in their hands in the U.S. So. All right. Well then, yeah, dirge. Congrats. But but yeah, I don't know. I still feel like that they have the molds for the rest of those, so they're going to release the because like those are going to sell anyway. And I could see them redo like re-releasing their seekers again. Well, yeah, B- just because BBTS doesn't have it doesn't mean that. Like Rob, Rob says, oh, it's not a BBTS, but. Yeah, yeah. I, I know I know China has it, so I think it's like one of those things where, you know, the Chinese sellers have gotten it and they've been able to ship it to people in the US, but you know, I don't know if the US sellers have received I it. I think yet. it came out after Thanksgiving, so it should be rolling out. I don't know if Chosen Prime has it. Like they usually get the make toy stuff first. So but yeah, I don't know. Toy Jojo might have it too. I don't know. I like, I feel like usually BBTS and TF Source are like the last ones to get it. Yep. So, but so anyway, yeah, Rob. So, but yeah, no. If you want to, if you want an updated version of Crosshair, is like the Siege version is pretty much the your only. So it's, true. it's the only one, and luckily he's pretty good. So Ron wants to know if if Astrotrain is going to be the final microcasters of the year, and um. I don't think so, because you don't have yours yet, right? Nope, it'll ship after the first of the year, as far as I know. So, yeah, because Christian, um, I, we convinced him to make a good financial decision and keep with his uh, cheaper pre-order at Hasbro Pulse. So, um, yeah, I, and it's supposed to ship on the first, which probably means it'll ship you know, second, third, fourth. Yeah, so th- three weeks, not a big deal. I think what we're gonna do is uh, Anna. I think is had some new Legends figures, so I think that we're gonna do do those. So I think we're gonna do another live one where, or one one from my house where she comes over and I get to mess with it since um, I'm not buying all the Legends that I used to. So yeah, do Legend stuff, and if we want to do another Bot Bots one, I'm supposedly having a very Bot Bots Christmas. There you go. So, so yeah, we'll see. I don't know that we're going to do live uh, shows the rest of the year, though, because um, we'll probably have to do pre-records, um, because I know Christmas Eve, my wife would kill me if <laughs> if I was, you know, taping this instead of hanging out with them, and, and New Year's Eve kind of the same way, so, um, yeah, so, but we'll, tr- we'll try and see if we can get, get some pre-records up, so. But, if we don't see your pre-records, we'll be back after the first anyway. Yep. Yep. So, all right, well, cool. Um, so, yeah, everyone catch uh, uh, Out to My Wallet tomorrow night. And uh, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.